Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Hey, Wix, helpful human, and Gimorai's first today. Hey, Blind Joker. How is it going? All right. Uh, not much, not much. Just finishing my coffee. Cheers. And ready to unbox a couple of stuff. Um, so, helpful human. Um, Collide is a small keyboard. I think it's 39 keys. Hey, be copy. How are you? Welcome, welcome. That was done by Space Cat Designs. And it was a group buy. So, I think I have a PCB and a, an acrylic case for it. Hey, Gabby, how are you? Long time no see, man. How are you? What? You're trying to disassemble a car door? What for? What, what happened? So I'm happy to report that I am really pleased today because up to now there was a guy fixing my AC. And I just realized there was a lot of dirt inside my AC and it was not cooling. So now I feel 10 times better on stream. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with the temperature right now. All right, anyways, uh, let's get to it. <laughs> exactly, but why don't you stream your car door disassembling? You should do that. <laughs> all right, all right. Time for some unboxing goodness, and then we're going to try the crystal lube on some Paco switches. I don't know if you guys heard about Paco switches. They are basically hollow stems on creams housings. I'm actually fabricating it too because I do not have the right one. Hey, Odun, how are you, my friend? It's been a while. How is everything? <laughs> group by? Yes, group by when? All right, so let's delve into this thing. So what are the plans for the weekend, guys? Are you guys watching that hyped movie that I know nothing about? Avengers, Endgame or something? I am really not into Marvel at all. And please don't ban me or don't disconnect just because I said that. I respect everybody that likes that thing. I just didn't have time to catch up and I, I did not get into the loop. But can you guys forgive me if I say that I am into Game of Thrones? Because I am. Tickets sold out everywhere, I heard. I have a friend that went to the mall today and it was crazy. People trying to buy it. So the first time you sold out. Yeah, all right, nice, nice. I found someone else that doesn't like Marvel movies. Cool. All right, so lots of goodies here. Let's, uh, let's take everything out first, lay it down. And then we can tell, they did a very nice packaging job, my proxy, this time. They were able to compact a lot of stuff into a small footprint, which I'm thankful for. All right, let's start with the boring stuff, which is this keycap set. I think, I don't even remember which set this is. I bought this a long, long time ago. I know it's an Ergo kit, and I can look it up shortly, but I, oh, here it is. Oh, this is the Terminal R2 Ergodox extension. And I bought this because, uh, because of two things. First, I am building a boardwalk soon. So I wanted an Ergo kit. And I also got the Unigo 66 that is arriving shortly. So yeah, nice colors here, right? Very different colors from the N9. So guys, if you guys joined, let me open this first. If you guys joined that N9's GMK, this is the color I think that those keycaps are. It's the same color as Terminal. So this is what 9's is basically, right? So yeah, this is the Ergo kit. We get uh, different colors, as I said, which I like. And I'll probably be using this either with the Boardwalk or with the Unigo 66, don't know yet. 
You're starting to question your life choices? No, you only do that when you're 40 like me. In a lot of salt. What do you mean by that? And by the way, welcome Panda Suit. You're, you're the first VIP on my channel, by the way. Don't know if you can see there's a little icon by your name. I think you're almost the only person that has been to all my streams or almost all my streams. So you earned that badge, my friend. There we go. So this is very interesting GMK kit. The, yeah, exactly. So that's what I always thought. The renders are not the real colors because in real life, I must say that I don't like the terminal colors. That's why I didn't join that group by. <laughs> I don't know what difference it makes, Panda, but you are one. So there you go. <laughs> All right. And guys, you know what I'm... Oh, never mind. So this, I think, is a couple of more chicory PCBs that I bought from the GB Runner. I love this PCB so much. Oh my god, torques and security torques. Oh, free sub, there you go. So you earned it, you earned it. So you guys know that I love 40% boards. So I bought four more Chicory 40 PCBs just because I love this board so much. And I know that after the GB ends, this is never going to be produced anymore. So there we go. We have four of those Bluetooth PCBs that work really well. And I have been using them for a long time and they're reliable. So, yeah. And I have two cases to build. Yeah, I am a hoarder. I just love those boards. And this is my favorite form factor, my favorite layout, everything. So, yeah. I don't, I don't think there is much to be said about this other than this is what it is. And uh, I am using that, for instance, on this um, daisy that we modified on my last stream and we added those rubber domes to this MX. And I still want to see if I can make cherry work with this. Still not convinced it's not possible, so let's see. Okay, uh, so this PCB is it, let me open it so you guys can take a look but uh it has been featured in my streams before i talked a lot about it that's why i didn't go in depth about what the pcb is this is a chicory 40 pcb it was a a group by the ran on alf's discord it is a 40 percent that shares the daisy layout which is the layout that i just showed it's one of the supported layouts like this um and the main thing about this is that it is Bluetooth, so no wires needed, and you do need a, a battery to make that work. And I have been using this as my on-the-go keyboard for a long time, and it's proven to be very reliable. So, yeah. And I know... Oh, that's a good idea. It's impossible to... Uh, I'm so attached to GMK, though. All right, so I think that this one is also a PCB. Let's check it out. If you remove all the struts, that's a good point. But who would do that? But I, I think that what you can do is... Let me get one of the domes. Let me explain my idea, which may be dumb, right? But what if... I don't know if that will work. What if we either cut a part of the base off or if we trim a little bit this top piece? If you make it, I mean, this is like two or three millimeters, um, right? What if we take one millimeter out? Or if we take, which is not a good idea from the base, which I don't think would work. <laughs> that may be true but again take a look at so here's why i think it may still be a rubber dome if you take a look here it's not like this is like one millimeter thick right 
This, even if you take half of this out, I think you still have the tactility that this provides. I don't know. I want to see if I can make it work. I saw people using it with DSA out of the box. There is a guy on the 40% Discord that uses it with with DSA. So that's that's why I started thinking about it. I don't know what he did, but it surely works. Oh, right, right, right. So, oh, look at that. This, do you, know, do you guys know what this is? Have you guys ever heard about this? Any takers? Who knows what this is? Yeah, hold on, you got it right. This is the Paint 27. A very stupid but interesting board. Yeah, it is in the title, Panda. You spoil me, you spoil, you spoil the, the surprise, which I did. But yeah, this is a Paint 27. And this is a stupid layout, but I think it's just funny. And very meme -y. So I, what I would try to do is design a 3D printed case for this guy. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see how this works. Daily driver, yeah. I mean, I'm downsizing from this, 28, to 27. <laughs> Who needs 28 keys, right? You drew the wrong beat? Damn, man. That really sucks. All right. So I'm gonna leave the paint 27 here so we remember the paint. And uh, let's see what we have in this one. So I have the, the Carbone uh, Ergodox kit, sorry, for the same purpose, right? For doing one of the two boards that I have. 10U spacebar. <laughs> and uh, it's the same boring thing for Ergodox. You got a few nice things, but other than that, it's just GMK carbon. Not much to be seen here. So I can use my carbon with my Ergo boxes. We have uh, novel keys sticker which I may be also hoarding on oh and we have the shine in the dark switches from novel keys which we can play with and finally we have the crystal lube The 129. I also will get the 111 and 112 next week, ish. <laughs> but we're gonna play with this in a little bit. Let's just finish unboxing everything. Yeah, I'm gonna make the Paco switches. I don't know if you caught that at the beginning. Because I do have some creams laying around and I do have a lot of halos, so why not? And we can do Holy Jesus as well to see how it feels. Yeah, and I have a bunch of, a lot of crystal lube now, two ounces. I feel like it's going to be the first and last time that I will buy it. So we have a couple more. So B copy. I don't know if you share this opinion, but when you do one switch, it's hard to tell if there are improvements or not. For me, the main difference comes when you do a full board. I don't know if that makes sense. 
So look at this. Uh, this is an interesting board because basically the guy that made the the Chicory 40. I bought so many boards from him that he sent me a PCB that he made for his wedding. So this is the invitation to his wedding. Let me show you this. This is how you know a guy like keyboards, right? So this is the wedding names. There is a little sketch here of themselves. And this is the wedding date. So they get, got married on, wow, almost one year exactly ago. That's super, super interesting. And uh, yeah, I, I just need to find the USB mini that goes here. I know this is the same one as the DZ60 uses, so I could borrow from there. And you need a Pro Micro as well. But pretty cool, right? I think Wedding Edition, Easy 42 is the name of the board. They didn't know. There you go, Easy 42. Wedding Edition, how cool is that? So yeah, nice, nice piece of history. All right, so this is supposed to be the Collide 39. Can you guys see it? So Collide 39 is a board by Space Cat Designs, which is a friend, very cool guy. <laughs> You're giving it up. All right, let's uh, unbox this PCB, which is very unique. Look at this. This is the Collide 39 PCB on this matte black. This is the Space Cat logo and this is the Canadian logo. This is a very gifted uh, PCB designer. I don't know if you guys know him. Very cool guy. And this is the possible layouts and uh, place for the Pro Micro here. All right, so let's peel this um, this acrylic here. I really like their PCBs. They they are a kind of a niche, right? They do mostly small PCBs and ortho PCBs. There is one PCB that I'm particular, particularly interested on, which is called the Dilly. It's a Chox PCB. I do have one of those, but I wanna buy a second one and build it myself with um, some Chox that I ordered. They do sell the Gherkin. My Gherkin, I bought from them. <laughs> the keyboard Gondo uses to get women. So their PCBs are pretty, pretty good because the, the designer I mentioned, the Canadian guy, he's very good with PCBs. And in hindsight, I should have peeled the the bottom first. Yeah, I, I saw this color and say, you know what? This is the color I'm going for. It's purple, yes. And very purple, to be frank. Or to be honest.
Yeah, very cool color. Let me let me show you. Let me peel the back, and then I'll bring it closer to the camera. Oh my God! Tell me, tell me about it. Admit this is the story of my life. I'm colorblind, but I'm not colorblind. Like there are people that don't know, like mix all the colors and everything. I have, you know, few colors that I do confuse or mix like uh, brown and red, things like that. Yeah, this is a very cool purple. Yeah, nobody knows, right? Nobody knows if we see the same purple as different people. <laughs> so there is that as well. So there you go. This is, at least to my eyes, to my bad eyes, this is very purple. Yeah, Zephyr is is indeed much much blue, much more blue-ish than this guy. Yeah, you can definitely see the difference, right? Yeah, that happens to me as well. Like I get a lot of lag when I'm watching someone on stream. <laughs> it, for me, it's blueish, just to my colorblind eyes. Yeah, this is very, very purple. One thing I want to do to this board uh, is to put some hole tights on the switches that go under the Pro Micro. Because I'm really good at that. Colors are hard. Tell me about it. See if you can put some PCB mounts here. I have some Gritec blacks here that I lubed, but I don't like very much, so we can use them. And I think the reason I did is because I used 3203. I not really a fan of 3203. Those stems are is so dank. Which stems? Oh, the Zilios. Got it, got it. Yeah, those stems are good.
So I think one of the things you need to decide is on the layout, right? I think you can put a kind of a numpad either on the right or the left. But let's do the main thing first. Let's put those. At least it's south facing, right? <laughs> yeah, I use I use the filter as well. I use flux. Yeah, I, I, I do have a few keycap sets, but nothing in particular. I don't know what we will use, and I'm not going to build it now. Because what I want to do ultimately is to try the... the. Do we have room for stabs? No, we don't. Okay. What I want to do is try the... <laughs> my god, crystal loop. Well, I think you can put switches here. But the, the purple ones that I have are the ones that I have on my Alice. Yeah, I think so too. I, I'm definitely thinking to you of use about using um, black on white PBT. Yeah, I'm going to put pom-poms for sure. Thanks for reminding me. I was thinking that I could have maybe larger pom-poms on the back and smaller ones on the front. But I'm considering if I even have pom-poms with that amount of difference. Let's take a look. Maybe I just put it on the back. I don't know. <laughs> that's what she said. No, that's not what she said. That's what he said to her. Maybe I just put it on the back. So we don't have enough for QWERTY because I think we need to start here for QWERTY. So let's do that. So it would be escape, then QWERTY, yeah. Do you need a proxy to have it delivered? You do not. They, I think they ship straight to Brazil if you want to. Okay, so this is kind of odd. You can't have three switches here, it's, it seems. I don't know how this is supposed to work. I mean, I am. I was not very fond of of those um, green tacks, the black ones. I didn't love it, to be honest. They are good, but not great. So I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay. I think I see that you can... Put two switches in like this. Maybe, yeah. So then you can do...
<laughs> yeah, I don't think it's meant to be human compatible. It sure is cat compatible, at least space cat. Hey, Fate25, how are you? Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? I'm going to have it to you. Let's leave it at that for now. You gotta include your Twitch link to your YouTube uploads, man. That's right. I don't have it there. That's a great idea, Fate. That's a really, really great idea. I don't know why I didn't do that. I'm actually gonna start changing my latest videos to add that. Yeah, that was a brain fart on my end. Why didn't I put it there? Very, very good idea. Yeah, absolutely. I'll do that. I'll put a uh, stream live on Twitch and then add the Twitch link. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I don't know why I had, I thought I had the, the link there somehow. Are cats afraid of cucumbers? Are they? I didn't know. I know that chickens, uh, is it chicken that you draw like a line on somewhere and they do not cross the line? I was watching that, that's so weird. Yeah, I, I hear your fate. We're gonna make sure that's not the case anymore. So did you see that I posted two uh, Alice videos? I had to basically redo my first attempt because I hated the sound. All right, let's put some bum bombs on.
Hey, hey, I frozen taps. How are you, my friend? Welcome, welcome. So maybe I should leave it only with those at the back. I am, I'm fine as well. Like, pretty happy it's Friday. Let's do something very ghetto here. And add a second bump onto the first one. Two. Can I desolder a 60% with a cheap solder sucker? Well, you know what they say, anything is possible, nothing is impossible, is nothing, right? But you're gonna suffer and there's a high risk you're gonna damage your PCB, from experience. Unless you're very good with this soldering, there's a high chance that you're gonna damage your CD or PCB. What I recommend, if you can, is buying this guy. Yes, it is a little more expensive, but if you wanna do the whole solder sucker approach, use this. Or what, okay. So Panda did it, but I know that he's experienced with soldering, so I don't know. All right, so my, my answer is overridden by the answer from chat. So yes, you can. More than that, you should do it. <laughs> no, but if you have, to, if you have, if you have, if you can invest some money like 20, 30 bucks, I strongly recommend this solder sucker. And I think if you put five bucks or more into it, you can get something like this, like Camwick with Rosen. That you can send a link, yes, absolutely. And if it doesn't work, just let me know, I'll override it for you. There you go, so it did work. Okay, so in this particular board, the grid tags are sounding, the, the sound of those grid tags are not bad. Let me see if I can show you that. But I think the acrylic case helps a lot. Anyways. So I managed to add some uh, angle to it. I'm happy with that because I hate flat boards. And you guys will be seeing me build this board pretty soon on stream because it's a very easy to build board, right? Yeah, so I would recommend if you can to get that soldering Oh, so that's the one you're using, iFrozen? Let, let me open that. Okay. Yeah, this, this is definitely the cheapest option you can get. Uh, I think, honestly, for your soldering iron, I think you're good because it does have some way of tweaking the temperature and it's 60 volts so you should be go good um, you do get the soldering week with this which will help a lot uh, I would if you can get some flux at least I think it's cheap cheap but this solder sucker really sucks I do have it I have that same solder sucker and so don't take my word for it let me show you Here it is, and it is terrible. So, I don't like it. But, yeah. I mean, it's doable, it's doable. But I think it requires more skill, and there is a higher chance you're gonna end up damaging some pads, right? 
That's the only reason I say if you can invest a few bucks more, bucks more on a solder sucker, the engineer engineer SS02, I think. That's what I recommend. Yeah, there you go. All right. So this is the Collide 39, which you guys will be seeing on stream. I know Panda is really excited to see this build. And he's really jealous that I got this board. I know it's uh, one of his favorite boards ever. I love that. I know that he loves small boards. So, yeah. He's really pleased that I got this. But really jealous that he didn't. All right. Next up is this. <laughs> Are those uh, glow-in-the-dark switches? Let's uh, take a look at that. I know, I know, Panda. I, I just like to mess with you because I know you're always saying that this is not a real board. And I don't know how why people like um, hot swap boards. I hate them. Hate them with my life. But at least uh, they're useful to test some switches on stream. That's all I use them for. I never... Anything that is temporary, like hot swappable boards, you end up not cherishing. I don't know. You end up like using as a spare board. I, I don't know. That's the feeling I have ever since I got my first hot swap board. It's it seems like it's never something you know definitive. <laughs> oh my god, this is so annoying. Can you guys see like the plate is, this is another issue if you have a soft plate like the one that I have. So you can, you have to like always keep pushing it up, which is a pain in the ass. Yeah, especially on higher, I, I totally agree. You cannot lube switches with Primatex. Hey, fun spoiler, how are you? Primatex is really good for stabs, but they suck for switches. So I strongly, this, um, I strongly, this advice or recommend you don't do it. If you want to get the mo the cheapest thing you can use on switches, it's still not recommended, is some form of PTFE. Yeah, this is dielectric. No, you don't want to do that. You're going to gunk up your switch. Um, look for some PT a liquid PTFE. You, can you maybe can get away with it. I don't know. I would experiment with, with that. I never did it. I use PTFE for uh, springs. What did I miss? Uh, you missed some unboxes, unboxings. I'm not nil. And now we are putting some glow in the dark switches on this hot swap board. Oh, you're playing League? Got it. So we didn't get to the crystal loop yet. So you're just in, on time for that.
A hundred and four percent good, yes. So guys, one thing I'm doing is we're gonna have some special emotes on my channel for people who subscribe, uh, which I think is gonna be pretty nice. And the guy just delivered them to me, so I'm gonna take a look at them later. So that's coming as well. Uh, let me catch up. I start off machine OIO for my switches. Then once I managed to get some cry talks, boom, my mind got blown by the, yeah. I mean, if you want to do it right, go with cry talks. Can't you get some cry talks on, um, on the, on Amazon from Germany? Because you can on Amazon US. Ah, you know, just for the memes, Panda. Nothing particular. And with that note, I think we're good with this amount, okay? Alexa, turn streaming lights off. Okay. Alexa, turn office lights off. Okay. Wow. Look at that, how amazing is this? Alexa, turn streaming lights on. Alexa, turn streaming lights on. Okay. Let's see if we put it under the direct light for a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, it sucks. <laughs> Alexa, turn streaming lights off. Okay. Okay, that's better. So you basically have to recharge it on the light. <laughs> that's better. And I think they get better than that. Alexa, turn streaming lights on. Alexa, turn office lights on. Okay. Good idea. I do, actually. I bought some very lame ass um, shine through keycaps with uh, DZ60 RGB. So we can use that to see if it makes a difference. Let me get a couple of them. Yeah, do I have any resin caps? I'll, I'll check. Oh, you know what I have, but I, it's going to take me a long time to find. I have the best keycaps in the world. I have putting keycaps. It's going to be hard to find them, though. Yeah, it's really expensive. But to be honest, you don't... Yeah, it's... Don't you have, like, a friend to buy with you? Because 30 mLs will last you for... A lot, yeah, a lot of keyboards. Alexa, turn streaming lights off. Okay. Alexa, turn office lights off. Okay. So yeah, they are really discharged <laughs> at this point. I don't see any shine through.
You're in um, Germany, right? MyKeyboards.eu, maybe? Try under backlight? What do you mean? Alexa, turn streaming lights on. Okay. Alexa, turn office lights on. Okay. You mean UV light? I don't have any UV light here. But they do sound good. I mean, they're Gatorons, I know. But they do sound really good. All right, let me take this back. And I, I do have a UV box, but it's on another room that I use for retro brighting. I can try to put it them under retro brighting lights. Let me do that. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to put it on the box and then I'll be back at the end of the stream. If you guys can remind me, I can go get it to see how better they look. So let me put it under UV light. Give me one second, guys. No, no, the, no, none of those are lock switches. I only have Alps lock switches, I think. I don't have MX. Won't it yellow the bar? I don't think so. Not for a very brief time. All right, give me one second, guys. Be right back. So I brought the box here so you guys can see it. It's a huge box. Let me see if I can I'm able to show you guys this. So basically it has a lot of foil and then we have this UV uh, light strip. We plug it to the to the wall. There's something in here that you want to rest for like. <laughs> That's where I grow the weed. Busted. Yeah. I always forget to... Sorry guys, I always did forget to turn the music down. So let me just plug this and we'll continue the stream. See if I can show this on stream. You guys can see what's going on inside here. Uh, 
So I don't know if the, ca the camera doesn't show it though. It's really pink inside, but I don't know why the camera doesn't show UV light properly. So that's very boring. All right. All right, all right, all right. So next up is this guy, the Crystal Lube. Let's see. So I have a pile of stuff here. Because I am a very disorganized person. Yeah, I don't know why that happens, to be honest. Okay, so I have halos here. Uh, I don't have halos, do I? Yeah. I have some halos here, halo clears. And I have some creams here. So let's try to make some Paco switches and then we can compare stock Pacos to, you know, these Pacos with Pacos with Crystal Lube. Oh my gosh, Mac Merlin is here, everybody. I don't know if you guys know Mac Merlin. He also do, does a lot of streams. Uh, he streams some builds, but mostly he does a lot of QMK work. Actually, everything I know about QMK porting boards, I learned from him. If you don't subscribe to him, make sure you do. He's on YouTube by Mac Merlin and also on Twitch. You're more, more than welcome to put, put your links here. Mac Marley. But I doubt someone here doesn't know him. So, but if you do, go ahead and subscribe to him. Yeah, man, it's really hard to see you here. Never saw you here. <laughs> yeah, he's still on your space bar. You know what? I, I am forgot about that. I thought it was better to just forget. No, whenever, whenever you can. All right, so let's see. Let's get to. Halo switches. Let's get two housings for queens. And uh, I'm gonna use this, the Halo springs for now, but they're not gonna work. So I don't know which springs are those here. We're gonna use them for the time being. I believe those are Holy Jesus, not Holy Jesus, Red Ox springs, which are not very good, but we're gonna use them regardless. All right, let's, uh, let's get to it. Yawk plus cream, but I, I have a whole board on that um, now on Yawk and creams. I can get that board in a second. That's the board I'm using as my daily driver on the go. Yeah. Uh, I built it on stream. Like, uh, you're, I'm going to take your VIP status out because you missed that one. <laughs> So you get you got two grams nice let us know how you like it but I, I will get that board for you to take a look soon panda and uh and the vod is, is coming up shortly as well i think i'm, I'm gonna post it tomorrow all right so here we go let's make one stock baco for control That's a, you're not gonna love that board. It's a Daisy, the new Daisy case that I got. I built that with Red Yox. Okay, so they are indeed very tactile. 
I don't know if they are holy panda tag title. And let's do one with Crystal Lube. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's very sticky indeed. No, uh, I prefer linears. I had my tactile face. So that's perfectly fine. All right, so let's get, uh, let me just get rid of all this that is still on my paintbrush. I really don't like lubing white stems because it's always hard to figure out how much you put on it. Oh, I forgot to loop the <laughs> freaking spring. So next thing to buy is my new case for the keyboard. What are you looking for? Yeah, I like box whites, whites as well. Okay, let me, let's see. So this is stock and this is lubed. This is stock. This is how it sounds. I mean, oh, Gondo is live. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go to his stream right after mine. We can raid him. And then this is lubed with. Um, with the crystal lube. It's way different. I don't know if you guys can pick it up on cam on the microphone. So this is stock. Oops. This was stock. And this is crystal lubed. Ducky razor board. Yes, I saw that somewhere. So I don't know. They say that this is closer to 205 than it is to other other Crytox. But I honestly don't know. I need to build a whole board for it. So let's see in terms of feeling what we can. And uh, you know what I did? I completely forgot which one is which. So I'll have to open one of them to see which one is looped. And of course, I'm using the wrong Switch open now. Okay, so this is looped. Let me just put a black dot on the stem here. I'm 
So now I know which switch is which. So. Let's put it here and see how it sounds with keycaps. So we have lubed here on the right, and we have unlubed on the left. Let me get two keycaps here. Unlooped. And looped. And to be honest, um, there is not a whole lot of tactility on those switches. They are very mild. And there is very little difference when you loop them with, with the crystal loop. Unlooped, looped. I mean, I don't know if I would like to build a whole board with this switch. What do you guys think about the sound? Not crazy. Yeah, you don't like the sound? Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not impressed by it either. Let's compare it with something we know, right? I think uh, that's only fair. So I got some Ritu Blacks. We are very familiar with how they sound, right? Let me move those two here. And let's uh, mod one of the Retooled Blacks, just lubing it with Crystal Lube to see how they sound. Before we do that, let me get two keycaps. I find any video Alexa, skills. stop. You find that. Go to the Alexa, Alexa. to manage your video skills. Alexa, stop. I have never tried them. Did you? Okay, so this is stock MX. I do have Vint Blacks, uh, but the ones that I have are already lubed. So let me, let me lube this guy here with some crystal lube. And I'm gonna use the stock springs just for this comparison. And this we can be a little more, a little less cautious since those are linears. We can basically do the whole switch. And there's a little bit too much here. There we go. Yeah, they, they share the same material, right? For all the Gatoron. Okay, let's uh, let's take a closer look now. So this is unlooped and this is looped. So the I is the looped one. Unlooped. I think you can hear the scratchiness. Let's see. Let's see the one that is looped with Crystal 129. Yeah, a lot of the scratchiness is gone, but I still hear a little bit of scratchiness. You see, there is no scratchiness almost. Look at the difference. Can you guys hear the scratchiness? And now this. 
there is basically no sound. I'll tell you what, I like how one switch fuses with crystal lube, but I always like to test more than one. So let's go ahead and lube the second one. go let me turn the music on Do you always avoid? No, I'm just too lazy to do it. It's good practice if you do that. Oh, well then. I normally don't do it. I do the rail. I used to do everything. I used to do bottom and rails and stem. And uh, now I don't notice a lot of difference when I lube the, the bottom of the housing and when I don't. I, I made a test and I didn't, uh, I didn't end up noticing a lot of difference. So that's why I don't do it anymore. I used to do it. Yeah, it took away most of the scratchiness. And they do feel very, very good. People said, um, I heard some reviews saying that they felt that this, the the switches became a little grippy. I can't confirm that, at least from those two switches, right? I think the sound is really good. And I don't have any gripping sensation. Let's see. I think they are very, sim people said it's very different from Crytox, but I guess I need to build a whole board to give you guys that opinion, but you know what? Let me loop two with um, with Crytox. Let's do that. Maybe when we put them side by side, we'll be able to see the difference. So they say this compared to 205, right? So let's try 205. So here is 205 G0. All right, I made a huge mistake and I got Great Tech Blacks instead of the PCB Blacks. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I mixed things up here. I'm gonna get two more Retool Blacks. Where did I put the Retool Blacks? Guys, sorry, I, you have no idea how messy my desk is right now.
Here we go. I don't know, I, found it, I find it so much better to lube black switches, so much easier to see the amount of lube you use. All right, so let's see the comparison with um, 205. Messy desk, you say? Let me see. That's not a messy desk. That's a nice desk. Let me. So what is all that? 2080? God damn. You're flexing it. Give it to me, yeah. <laughs> I can take it as well. All right. Let's go back to this. Oh, building for a friend, nice. All right, so just to recap, this is uh, Crystal Lube. Sounds really good in my opinion. And now let's see Cry Talks 205. Okay, um, I can confirm that the crystal lube do, does feel uh, a little more grippy. It's not something that bothers me. It's the opposite. It, it's kind of pleasing, but it is definitely different from Crytox. Crytox is a little more smooth. Whereas Crystal, at least 129, is indeed more grippy. 
but not in a bad way. And I kind of like the sound profile. Crystal and Crytox. Crystal, Crytox. So I'm going to definitely build a whole board with Crystal 129. Uh, probably the next board that I build will be with Crystal 129. So because I like the way it feels, I like the way it sounds. It It's not deeper. It's a different pitch. I don't know if, I, if it comes through, but let me show you. So Crystal again and Crytox. I think Crytox produces a higher pitch. Look. Yes, because it, it most likely, yeah, 129 is thicker, I know. But the feeling is, is there for me, like the feeling is, is, is there. Like, I, I don't think it's off. I don't think it's off putting. I know, I know a lot of people made that comment. People didn't like Crystal Lube. And I don't think I can make a decision until I have a whole board with it. But to be honest, it's, it's quite good. Yeah, people say 129 is really good for stabs, which we'll try as well. Next build. All right, before we finish here, let me just get my board from the UV bath. I'll tell you what, they are already lighting up, even in the <laughs> in the light. Let's see. Alexa, turn streaming lights off. Alexa, mm -hmm. turn office lights off. Alexa, turn office lights off. Okay. No, that's very disappointing. I can see in person that they are shining. I can definitely see it, but it's very disappointing. Like this thing was sitting in UV for quite some time now. And no, don't, don't like it. Alexa, turn streaming lights on. So no, okay. uh, I don't think those are good switches if you're looking for some glow. I think they suck at that. Sound-wise, I think they're decent. Yes, that's a good point. They may as well be. It is possible, especially because I bought it here in Brazil. So... What I want to buy is one of those UV uh, gig, uh, jigs that they use for for plants. I don't know if you saw that. Let me get it. Get one in on Amazon here real quick. It's called growing lamps. Growing lamps. So the one that I've been seeing grow. Hold on. Growing lamps. Let me share. So the one that I've been looking for is this one here, which is kind of expensive, right? This is what people say is the best one for, for retro brighting. The weed light, that one. So I, I cannot judge, but I think mine are fake, to be honest. That they, they, they may be fake. I'm not new, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll get one of those in my next trip. And I'll, oh, look at this. So it may not be a good idea. It has the, 
Look at the logo it has here. <laughs> so people may think I will be using that to grow weed. <laughs> I don't know. But I may as well get one of those. We'll see. Maybe I should get one that doesn't have the marijuana leaf on it. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, it's been a long stream, and I want us to go meet Gondo. Do you guys have anything else you guys want me to cover? Sorry for that. Let me... Wait, wait. Sure, I'm here. What's up? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, a promise is a promise. Be right back. I'm back. All right. So this is the keyboard that I use on the go. And this is this thing came with my Prionic that I got from Amazon. So here are Yox with cream stems. Let me show you how it sounds. I don't remember the lube that I used, but it's on my... Hold on, I can look it up for you. It's on my video. Let me double check. Well, I can't find it. But I think it's 204. Maybe I didn't stream it as well, Panda. I don't remember now because I'm not finding my stream. So maybe you're right. All right, so let me, let's get to the point here. Yeah, it sounds really nice. And you know what? I even have more. I may do a second build with those. Let me show you. I have a few more to make maybe another 40. So I don't know. I may do a second build with those. I really like them. Yeah, I need some. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to get a bigger keyboard with those switches. All right. I have them at different volumes so I can distinguish between them better. You can do. Yeah, I have I have some G Jesus as well. What do you have at different volumes? Uh, Mac Marley? didn't get that. Oh, you're watching me and Gondo. Let's, uh, why don't we all join Gondo? What do you guys think? Should we do a raid? Raid 
Gondolin. Let me just remember how to spell Gondolin Dream. Oh, it's it has an underscore as well, so let me be careful with that. All right, guys. Any any closing thoughts before I we go straight to Gondo? Let's do it. All right. So thank you guys for joining and I'll see you guys. Thank you for everything. And let's join my friend Gondo who's doing his first build on stream. All right, guys. Have a good night, everybody. Good weekend. See ya.